What's going on guys, Chaos here. I know I don't usually make videos like this where I just kind of talk about a certain topic, uh, or well, I, I I mean I have before, but I haven't really done uh, any kind of videos like that in a while. Uh, but I figured, hey, why not try to do, uh, you know, videos where I kind of give my opinion on different things. Um, I, I just kind of wanted to experiment with different uh, video topics or video formats to see what you guys um, might want to see more. I thought about going back to certain playthroughs as well. Uh, I will be uh, maybe going back to some playthroughs that I had kind of done a long time ago, such as the Rule of Rose playthrough. I've been meaning to uh, go back to that one. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm thinking of making some uh, just some videos where I'm kind of talking about my opinion or giving my opinion on a certain topic. Uh, today, I kind of wanted to go over something that had been announced by Sony recently, um, which is that this new PlayStation Plus service or this, I guess you would say, revamped version of uh, PlayStation Plus. Uh, now, this has a lot of people angry and for honestly pretty good reasons. Um, and let's just go over why that is. Uh, I will kind of be getting some of my information from what Sony has announced and also this article I found about it. Uh, basically, this new PlayStation Plus service uh, is going to include some things or some different uh, price tiers, um, which... I have, I'll be honest guys, I haven't really subscribed to PlayStation Plus in a long time, mainly because I'm mostly a PC gamer now and I don't really play on the consoles much at all anymore. So from what I remember when I subscribed to PlayStation Plus, it was one price and you got free games you could download to keep um, and you got, uh, you know, your online service and all that. Um, however, it seems like this new PlayStation Plus service has different price tiers. Uh, there is what is known as the essential tier, which the article I'm reading off of has euros instead of uh, US dollars. But uh, the essential tier, is, it says, is seven euros, extra is 11 euros, and premium is 13.49 a month uh, euros. Um, basically, what they're saying is that the essential is everything you would get from PlayStation Plus already, such as, you know, your free games and all that. Um, the second tier, uh, what was it? The extra tier. It offers PS4 and PS5 games, uh, which is a little bit strange because I kind of figured um, it would also, you know, that would also be something that would be covered in the first tier, but okay. Um, and then we have the premium tier, which is the thing that really is pissing people off. Um, I should also mention that basically this new service is also imp implementing the PS Now uh, service, which if you remember, nobody really cared much for PlayStation Now because it was a streaming service. It was a service for streaming PlayStation 3 games on a, on your PlayStation console, and it didn't really go too well. There was a lot of input or, you know, input delays with fighting games and uh, just a lot of lag because, you know, everybody has different Internet service and nobody's, you know, th that's kind of the problem with streaming games is that you're streaming a game it's not really the same as streaming a show or a movie if you're streaming a game you know it's really important that you don't have lag or anything like that uh it's just that there's so many issues that come with stream you know actually like streaming games uh so i don't really know why they're trying to make playstation now work i think it's a bad idea to be honest i i feel like they should just have its you know honestly just scrap that service entirely i don't see the point but anyways i just thought i should point that out um but yeah premium basically means that you will also you know be getting all the uh, playstation 4 and playstation 5 games as uh being able to download those but you will also get the in uh i guess their entire library they have uh uh, or, well, maybe not the entire library, but I guess certain games uh, from the original PlayStation and PlayStation 2 uh, via a, oh boy, uh, a combination of cloud streaming and downloads. And I guess that, uh, I I thought that was just going to be, uh, maybe PlayStation Now, I, I'm, I'm not 
too informed about P uh, PS Now, except that it's streamed like PS3 games, or maybe it's PlayStation 2, I I'm not sure. Uh, but if that's the case, like if you're also streaming these games, that makes this deal even, that makes the service even worse in my opinion. Um, I, I guess it makes sense because like I said, they are incorporating PlayStation Now into this service. Um, but yeah, basically you're, you're, this is how you're going to be getting, uh, being able to emulate PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, or well, and PS3 games, is by basically uh, paying for the premium service, which is, as it says, 13 euros a month. Uh, however, this does add up to 100 euros a year, um, which I think I heard was for the US price of this, uh, ends up adding up to uh, $120 a year. So basically what you're what you're doing is you're paying hundred and twenty dollars a year to be to uh, to be able to emulate like older like PlayStation one PlayStation two and PlayStation three games, but it's essentially being put behind a paywall. So yeah, that and people are mad about this, which I like I said before, I can totally understand. Uh, this seems like a really, really shady, uh, sh shady uh, business practice, in my opinion. And it seems like a bad deal. Like, why would you want to pay essentially $120 a year just to be able to emulate these older games? As we know with emulation, there are so many options available to people um, when it comes to emulation. You know, like you don't even have to have a decent computer uh, to be able to emulate most older games. You want to emulate PlayStation 1 games, you could probably do that on a toaster. Uh, PlayStation 2 get you know, you could do it with PlayStation 2 games. Uh, there are so many emulators that do this. There's PCSX2 uh, with PlayStation 1. There's, I think there's Duck Station. There's EPSXE or whatever it's called. Uh, PSP games, there's PSPPP. Um, you know, Nintendo, there's options for Nintendo. There, there's options, there's so many things you can do uh, with emulation that's basically for free. Um, now people like, you know, want to bring up the piracy argument with that. And I, that, that's a whole nother topic in and of itself. I, I don't really think it is, but regardless of that, like I said, there's so many uh, alternatives to this, like there, where there's no reason to pay this much money just to emulate games. And if you're really concerned, I guess about, you know, oh, I don't wanna be, you know, I feel like I'm stealing these games or, or whatever the case may be, uh, you can buy consoles, I think also that are specifically made to, uh, to emulate games. Um, so, you know, at least in that sense, you you wouldn't be getting it totally for free. But again, like I said, it's just another option that you could look into to emulate games. Apparently, there's also a way you could do this. Um, and I was going to bring this up. Uh, the Microsoft's console, the the, uh, the Xbox, at least has backwards compatibility options. Now, it's not perfect backwards compatibility. Um, there are some games that you can't actually perfectly, you know, perfectly emulate on the Series X or this the Series S. Um, however, it is there. And I should also bring up, uh, there is another option in regards to that where you can actually apparently download um, emulators off of your computer and transfer it over to the Xbox, uh, the Series uh, the Series X at least. I don't know if it works on the Series S, uh, but there's a video tutorial showing how you can actually do this and have, uh, have certain emulators uh, run on the Series X, I think. Uh, the guy was using Duck Station and maybe some other emulators uh, to emulate like PS2 and PS1 games, uh, which is pretty crazy that you can actually do that. Um, I don't know if you can do this on the PS5, however, um, but this is something that Sony has always struggled with with the PlayStation. They've always struggled with backwards compatibility. They they had it at first with the initial models of the PS3, although it, it was only with certain games and it wasn't perfect emulation. Uh, but with the initial models, you could put a PS2 disc into the PS3 and actually emulate that game. Uh, however, they quickly got rid of that. And I believe the reason for this is because they wanted to resell these games to you uh, through digital downloads or something like that. They didn't want you to be able to just put a PS2 uh, disc into your PS3 and be able to play those games. Now, you could do this with PlayStation 1, uh, which is something apparently you can no longer do with the uh, with the PS5, which is uh, pretty fucking crazy in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you can't do that anymore either. Um, but I, I think it's I think that was also kind of a shady uh, business practice because I think that was de uh, that was most likely done on purpose. Um, but yeah, Microsoft is always kind of one in this area when it comes to backwards compatibility and with the option of being able to actually like put those emulators onto the Series X console 
it makes the it, it makes the uh the series x an even better choice when it comes to you know at least if you're just on a console uh with when it comes to emulating games uh now honestly what i would recommend is just going with pc and emulating games that way but not everybody has a decent pc but like i said you don't need to have an, a great pc to be able to emulate games but it depends on what you want, though, you know, because there are a lot of options when it comes to things like, you know, OK, do you want the game to look really nice? And if you want it to look really nice, then, yeah, you might have to have a little bit better hardware because, you know, if you want to play the game at like, I don't know, you want to upscale it to 1440p or maybe even 4K, uh, which is definitely possible with emulators. Um, but yeah, like th this whole situation, honestly, is just it it's just crazy. And it's one of the reasons why I've just. I've just become so disillusioned with Sony. I've, I've just become less and less of a fan. And this is coming from someone who actually grew up with the PlayStation. I grew up with uh, the PlayStation 1 console. It was like the first console I, I played. And ever since then, I'd been a fan of Sony until just, you know, more more just recently, honestly. Um, and since then, I've just become, you know, after being kind of disillusioned with Sony, I've just become more open-minded about things. Um, I'm not a fanboy of any particular console of any company um you know being being a pc gamer i kind of just i don't really care so much about like you know which company is winning this this console war quote unquote uh, it doesn't really matter to me what really matters to me is what you know what benefit is there for me what benefit is there for me as a consumer as a gamer uh you know that that's what should matter to people not you know what what their favorite company is doing and what they're doing uh, better or how they're owning another company it, it's it's kind of irrelevant to me but i do think it is worth pointing out when certain companies do you know are engaging in bad business practices and uh you know it, it does des deserve backlash now the question is 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 the backlash that sony is getting is it going to result in any sort of change um personally i think it's a 50 50 chance because there is there are there have been cases where a company makes a really bad decision and the backlash was enough uh, to make them to, you know, to get them to change something that they were doing. Uh, in this case, I believe uh, like somebody, one of my friends po has pointed out to me that uh, most likely what they'll do is just reduce the price and they will hope that that will be enough to get people to stop talking about it, which is also something that's happened before. A company will make a really bad decision and they'll not really go back on it, but they'll just do something to slightly, ever so slightly alleviate uh, how bad that decision is, and then just hope people will stop talking about it, which unfortunately has uh, has worked in the past. Um, I, I think that's most likely what's going to happen here, but I just thought it was something that was worth talking about because it's something that kind of pisses me off as well, you know, especially knowing that there are much easier alternatives out there and there's no reason to be paying this much money to emulate a game um but again that, that's really all i had to say about this topic in particular let me know what you guys think about this style of video Why, like what do you think about me just kind of giving my opinion on stuff like this uh i don't like i said i don't typically do videos like this so let me know what you think and until next time i will see you all later